We're continuing to put a spotlight on Alabama agriculture today. We head back to the Auburn University Bee Lab to learn how important bees' contribution to agriculture is. SoutheastProduceWeekly.com's Chip Carter brings us part two and finds out what the future in ag will look like with the population decline. So Jeff, we're, we're about to open this thing up? We are, exactly. We're opening up this hive. How, how many bees are in a typical colony? It really depends on the, the time of year. In the middle of the summer, height of the, that bee colony, there could be upwards of 50 or, or 60,000 workers. So these are the primary non-reproductive individuals of the colony. Right now, we're in a bit of a decline because we're in the summer, end of the summer. Um, there's probably about 30,000 uh, bees within this colony. So a beekeeper, what they're doing when they're coming out to their colony is they're checking for a few things. First, is there a queen? So either you can see the queen or you see eggs present. Second, is there enough room in that colony? So um, the bees need some space, particularly in the spring as they're growing and bringing in food and, and resources. But around now, we want to know if there's too much room because they need to guard their nest successfully. The other thing we're looking for is, is there enough food to last our next beekeeper inspection visit? So if there's not, we need to feed. And then certain times of the year, beekeepers will perform different functions, for example, like controlling for that varroa mite. So it really depends on the what's happening um, during the course of the, the year. So on the outer edge of that hive, we typically see the food resources. So this is all the nectar that's being stored and brought in from the environment. Up here at the top, you can see capped honey. So this is preserved, it's dehydrated. There's been enzymes added to it. So these bees will rely on this stored honey as its food source throughout the winter. Underneath these, these cappings are actually still developing bees. This bee is just about to emerge. There she goes, she was ready. And surrounding it are actually eggs. They look like tiny grains of rice. So that's a, a great sign that we've got a, we've got a queen in our colony. We don't expect to find an extinction of honeybees in North America. Um, but yeah, it just takes more resources, more time, more effort for beekeepers to put into their colonies to maintain those numbers, which can translate into the cost of honey um, and the cost of the food that we eat because honeybees are so important to certain agricultural crops for providing pollination services. What are the things that farmers and homeowners and anyone can do to help improve the bee situation? I think it's really just down to being better stewards of the environment, you know. Um, maybe not having this perfectly manicured lawn without any weeds and applying herbicides um, and pesticides to that landscape. Just promoting diverse habitat, planting some wildflowers in your backyard. Again, just being better stewards of the, of the land. The birds and the bees, it's a problem as old as agriculture. Take anything out of the equation, we've all got problems. In Auburn, Alabama, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD-TV. Thanks, Chip. According to a recent report, an estimated 30.7% of managed colonies in the United States were lost during the 2017-2018 winter.